president is allowing the far left to run wild, as we have seen in the economy. Think about it. A witch hunt after the Civil War could have well indicted the slain Abraham Lincoln for suspending habeas corpus. And Generals Grant and Sherman could have easily been tried as war criminals. Prosecutions and witch hunts are easy after any war. Polls show most Americans do not support criminal witch hunts, but Lee and Kindness don't care. Why? Because it provides good smoke screen for the radical agenda. Bringing the guy, guy near money up. There he is, throwing money everywhere. I mean, now they're throwing money at everything. The march towards socialism. But at least TurboTax Tim Geithner is running a smooth ship. Well, maybe he can get the economy back on track. Oh, wait. So who's going to explain the income tax code to tax chief Geithner? Did you uh, cover this Limbaugh brouhaha on your radio? No, I think it's a distraction. I think it's a distraction from the real issues. I mean, why are we talking about Rush Limbaugh? Well, it's the Obama White House. Yeah, I'm exactly about. right. I mean, like, I mean, let, why don't we I talk about the you. real things? <laughs> Rome is burning here. Let me give you a fiddle. Oh. Well, the president just botched a meeting with our closest ally, Great Britain, and Obamanomics. Well, that's ruining the economy. But all the media can talk about is, well, Rush Limbaugh. It was the usual nonsense to American haters insulting their country. <laughs> Barack Obama makes Americans feel good. Again, the unsophisticated ones. He has a Republican predecessor to blame. The stock market goes down, Barack Obama's popularity goes up. And the deal is, I've watched your show enough to know you hammer the bats not out of both sides. The what? Bats not? Oh. Okay. Far left economist Paul Krugman. Does that sound like right. the rules for radicals to you? A nice political witch hunt makes cover, good cover, for radical changes in our capitalistic system. Believe me, attacking Rush Limbaugh is just the beginning. What we have is a president that essentially every time he opens his mouth about the economy, the markets tank. Now for the top story night reaction to the radical left on the move with us now Ann Coulter, author of the big bestseller, Guilty. Is that when you fall in love with somebody this, to this extent, when you're mesmerized by a politician, he will use that crisis that we're in now to, to fundamentally transform America. And, and the majority of Americans are in a trance while he's doing it. They don't know what their principles are. They have no idea. I was so inspired by what you were saying. It's true. Really? People are willing to give up freedom for security. And, I, and now it looks like we don't even have security. Right? I think I love her more than I was <laughs> on the Wonder Years. Okay. Too many people are far too ignorant. It's frightening. So now these idiots want to go back and they want to find something, fish, throw that line out there, reel in anything they can reel in to embarrass the administration that kept us safe, you safe, your family safe. And it's despicable. The people who watch this program or, or other programs on Fox, and I'm not blowing smoke at the audience because frankly I don't care about these things. <laughs> they are sophisticated. They, they are. No, I don't. They're plugged in. They understand. And even polls show that the Fox audience is more up on current events than anybody else's audience. America is on the road to socialism. And I'm on the road to this. The chin to beck. The chin to beck ratio is getting out of control. And it's time somebody does something about it. You know, what do you think about Reverend Wright and, and Bill Ayers? And they don't know who, who they are? Yeah, those are unsophisticated yep. voters. Let's bring in Fox News commentator Glenn Beck, who has been digging hard, working hard, getting a survival fallout shelter up and running in Connecticut. It's not in Connecticut. No, no. Do you need any help with that? I'll no, be happy to come I up there. No, because then you know where it is. Well, you can blindfold no, me. I don't mean a Trump. No. Wait a minute. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily sound like a bad idea. <laughs> Just say. Most Americans don't get it. Most Americans don't know the capital of the state they're in. They don't know the name of the vice president. They couldn't pick out Kansas on a map if their life depended on it. And those are the people who want government to do everything. Of whether or not there was corruption in the Justice Department by allowing Karl Rove to talk. All right, but that's a different issue. Subject. I'm not the talking country. about that issue now. We'll, we'll deal with okay. that down the well, road. Look, by all accounts, the Bush administration defeated Al Qaeda. Did you notice the president? All he seems to want is adulation. As for example, John <laughs> Conyers trying to impeach a private citizen. I don't have the ability to put someone in jail or take their money. He was trying to drag us before before the, the House hearing. In a letter I reproduced in my second to last letter, these people are crazy. You just came back. You spent some time with 15. Uh, of the richest people in America. I thought, as a service to you, um, we'd bring you in and you could give us just a little bit of what's going on. I guess our job for as long as we're here is to educate as many people as we can.